Hey, my name is Seth Meshko. I'm a 3D artist, and this is a demo of a script that I wrote for rigging in Maya. It sets transform limits on multiple objects, and uh, the script is called JFM Set Transform Limits uh, .py. It's a Python file, and you can find it on my GitHub page. Okay, so let's talk about it. What does it do, and why would you want to use it? Um, well, let's see. Let's start off with transform nodes. If you have expressed enough interest in this topic to want to watch this video, then you probably already know what a transform node is. But um, I'm in just in the interest of, of being thorough, let's go ahead and briefly talk about it. Okay, so a transform node is uh, this, essentially. Okay, it's this data here. Um, it's positional information for uh, an object in Maya. Okay, so every object has it. Um, and it can contain other information, even custom um, attributes and stuff. But uh, largely, this is what it's about, um, positional stuff. Okay, so um, now, in rigging uh, for animation, particularly for hand-keyed animation rigs, it's a, a best practices thing to limit uh, transform info, including you know putting upper and lower uh, bounds on objects um, for the channels that you want the animator to have access to, um, but then also locking and hiding channels that, that shouldn't be used, right? Um, that's just a way of kind of keeping the, the object clean so that um, people don't you know, use it in ways that it's not meant to be used, they don't break it, and they don't get confused by having it move in, in a way that does nothing, right? Okay, cool. So um, in this particular situation, this is this, is this uh, hand control object, and it's got these individual shapes, and these are going to be set up to drive uh, finger curls and spread, um, and then this is the master shape that does the same thing to all of them at once, all right? Um, so it's important for this to have um, transform limitations because the the animator does not want to be able to move it in some way that doesn't make any sense for the control. Okay, the only ways that this is going to move are in Y and Z. Okay, or I'm sorry, X and Z. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and set that up. Okay, I've got two examples. This is one of them. Um, I've got my script set up up here and uh, we'll go through this first example of, of how you might use it and then we'll go through another one that's also pretty useful. Um, okay, so if you were to do this manually, okay, um, you would go up here into your attribute editor and under um, the tra uh, limit transformations tab here, uh, you would go in and you would dial these out one thing at a time and you would say, okay, I want that to be negative one and uh, yeah, I want to set limitations on that and then I want that to be one. And if you did it individually for each one of these and that's how you would have to do it if you use the attribute editor, it'd take about five minutes and it would suck and you'd probably mess something up and have to come back and fix it. So um, that's why I built this script to do it in a few seconds and eliminate the um, possibility for error okay all right so let's go ahead and get into that I happen to know that all of these are going to move 1.5 in X and Z okay so I'm just gonna check those X and Z all right I want it negative 1.5 1.5 I don't want it to translate in uh, in Y at all, okay? Because that doesn't do anything and it doesn't really make sense visually. I'm gonna go 1.5 on that and 1.5 on that and actually, sorry, that's gotta be negative, okay? This has to be negative, this column, or, or it won't make sense for, for Maya. Um, negative values, positive values, okay? Cool, now. Uh, let's move on down to rotate. Okay, rotate. I'm gonna freeze all it all at out at uh, at zero. Okay, um, I don't want it to be rotated at all. And I'm also gonna check this column. This is lock and hide. Okay, so not only am I freezing it so that if somehow somebody managed to get a hold of that um, that shape they'd still have it all locked out. So this thing is boilerplated. Uh, it would be kind of a pain in the butt to 
for the for for someone to get it to be usable again uh, without this editor. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to scale. There's no need to have it scale, um, and we're going to want to lock that out. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply because of kind of a display issue thing it doesn't actually populate that properly um you just have to reselect it and it's going to show you the real deal okay but now you'll see that these things only move in the way that i wanted them to oh what they still move oh what i still needed to do this okay so that's cool uh, I'm glad that I kind of messed that up because I wanted to show you um, what happens if you kind of mess something up. All of these values are still in there. That's awesome. I don't have to go through and reset it and, and you know mess around with this. I can just put those on lock and I want them to be frozen and apply. So I just forgot those settings. Okay, so now, oh, great. That's fixed. Great. Okay, so that's all pretty handy. Something else that's pretty handy is um, let's just say that you needed to scale this whole shape up or move it or do something and um, you needed to kind of like come back in here and freeze transforms or something. Um, let's see if we can get this to not work. Edit. Uh, la, la, la. I'm sorry, modify freeze transformations. It doesn't like that, okay? Why? Because those things are locked, all right? So if you did some sort of business to this where you kind of needed to have it, maybe you wanted it to like, you didn't like its position, you want its new position to be there, and you want to freeze its transformations, you, you're going to have to go through all of this nonsense over here and open up this other editor to unlock all of that business. Well, not anymore with your handy dandy set minimum maximum transform limits window you can just uh actually just open it back up okay and take this one object and apply that to it it's going to clear all of that data for you again there's a display issue there but now this thing's free again okay so that's hugely handy and let me show you what this looks like and um in your uh control um, panel here, which is where you're going to be doing really all of your settings of your keys and your animation and stuff. So now we want to set this thing up again. We're going to limit its transforms and we're going to go negative 1.5, 0.1.5, negative 1.5. Okay, and uh, then what? We want it to be frozen here, frozen here, frozen here. Oh yeah, and there was this one thing that this needs to be zero, right? And we can lock that out. All right, and then this, and then this, and then this, and watch this channel box. Boom. Now the only two things in there that are relevant for this control are in there okay cool that's that portion of this there's only really one other thing to show you about this so let's see i'm going to save that and close it um and this is a skinned uh, hand and all that's going on right now is just that it's a skinned hand with a skeleton in it there's no rigging or anything I'm getting ready to rig it okay now this thing has transforms already on it okay or transform limits already on it and that's fine but let's just say that we didn't like them let's say that we didn't have enough of a range of motion okay that's uh, easy oh did I not have it set up I didn't have it set up. No problem. Let's open up that script, copy it, and uh, put it into our script editor, and go ahead and just drop it up in there just for the hell of it. And um, all right, go ahead and open it up. All right. 
So let's just clear everything. Okay, we're gonna start by clearing everything. Okay, now this doesn't make sense. Oh no, oh, fingers are broken. Okay, so that's definitely not what we want. Okay, um, so what do we want, right? Like we're gonna want to be able to like rotate it down to like what 90, maybe 100. Okay, great. So rotating in Z, negative Z, rotate negative Z, minimum value negative 100 okay now we're gonna rotate it up to about there i like that 25 let's make it 30 okay so rotate z max value is gonna be 30 okay now these they they're gonna swing from side to side all right a little bit so what is that 20 15 20 let's just call it 20 okay it's okay if you can you know blow it out a little bit you could always go in and like you know tweak them and stuff or just set up your control so that they can blow it out but what we're really trying to do is just make sure that like the hand doesn't look completely mutated and broken if if we push the controls a little too far all right so that was rotate in y let's just do negative 20 on that and 20 on that okay right there okay um and then x we don't want it to rotate an x at all so we're gonna freeze it at zero okay so what happens if we transform or translate excuse me translate these ah, it doesn't look right okay that's not really what hands do so let's go ahead and freeze all those out okay and uh, i'm not gonna lock or or hide any of that um, for the joints, I'm just going to go ahead and, and just set up the, um, the limitations. I think that's sufficient. Um, you know, if some ballsy animator started getting into your rig and, and trying to, you know, do some weird stuff there, uh, it would be pretty evident <laughs> their rig would break and, and, uh, you know, they, they brought it upon themselves as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, so then scales. We don't actually want this to scale, largely because this particular um, model is going out to uh, Unity, and um, Unity doesn't doesn't really like scale information. It doesn't really like translation uh, information either. So um we'll do that okay we're not gonna lock and hide anything but this is well, the reason why i'm actually showing you this um on this uh object as well is because as you can see these joints all have uh translate values right okay because they're not they're not at their origin the wrist is their origin right and then that's their kind of like world space zero. And then from there, they all have positional information. Okay, well, if you set up, you know, this to be zero there, and uh, it was it was not, there was no fancy script going on in the back that um, offsets these values, they just snap right to the wrist and it would hose you, okay? Um, so there is some, some stuff going on there to make those offsets, uh, work. And let's just say, oh, I want this to actually still be able to be translated in, in negative one. Okay. And, uh, one there. Okay. I want a little bit of transform. That's fine. Go ahead and put in a, like a little bit of transform. It'll actually do an offset with that value. Okay. So we're going to hit that. Did that work? Um, I think it did. Okay, so let's test it. Ah, uh, we've got our limitation up. Ah, uh, we've got our limitation up and down. We've got it back and forth. Okay, and it should be able to translate. Oh, just a little bit in case your fingers needed to get longer for something. Uh, you might need to, whatever. Okay, cool. But you notice that those didn't all snap back and, and, and we've got like an offset value in there that we can, that we can move in. Um, that's, you know, this number plus these numbers. All right. What else did I want to show you about this? I feel like there was something, but I can't remember and apparently didn't write it down. Okay, well, that's it, man.
Um, I hope that you use this script and that you like this script. The script is free to you. Just go to my GitHub page, download it, and use it. Um, what I ask from you in return is to please just go ahead and uh, give me some feedback. Uh, let me know what you like about it. Let me know what you don't like about it. Um, tell me what other features you would like to see in relation to it. Um, and if you do like it and use it, please give me some props. You can like this video on YouTube. You can give me a star on GitHub. You can get on my LinkedIn page and hook me up with some endorsements. I would really appreciate any one of those or all of them. And uh, yeah, I hope you use it. I hope it's really handy for you. And um, uh, hit me up, man. Let me know how you're using it. I'd love to get... Uh, Get, get to know what you're doing with it, even if, you know, it's perfect for you or even if it's terrible for you. I want to know. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.